it's going to be a very very chaotic situation for everybody to just come out it's going to cause even stampede at you know if things go wrong the low impedance of denon cannot be handled you badly need to get the calibration done so as promised here we are with the new episode that is episode number 15 of get help with tanmay mehta and in this series, as you all know, we pick three top questions from all the questions that come to us and we would want to thank you for all the questions that you have been asking and Atharva is going to be the voice of your question. So over to Atharva for today's top three questions. Kartikeya asks, which is the best satellite speaker home theater system for Dolby Atmos Denon AVR X2800H? Okay, so Kartikeya, first of all, congrats on the purchase of Denon X2800H. I think that's a fantastic AV receiver with two HDMI outputs. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the room size to understand which speaker package would be great for you. So I'm going to give you two, three options based upon the room size. So in case your room size is anywhere between 100 to 200 square feet, you can look at Clips Reference Cinema Pack 5.1, which is a fantastic speaker package for that room and complements well with Denon X2800H. The the second option uh, is more for a bigger room which is the BMW uh, satellite speaker system using the M1 satellite speaker. So you can check that and you can pair it with the ASW8 or ASW10 subwoofer from BMW and that's a fantastic home theater system with Denon X2800H. The third one is a little tricky to pair with Denon because we have seen that the low impedance of Denon cannot be handled of these speakers. Uh, but yes, you can definitely give it a try and its uh, speaker package is very very nice. The subwoofer is wherein you need a little more power. That is the Focal Dome Flex. Focal Dome Flex is a fantastic satellite speaker package. Uh, again, meant for 200 to 300 plus square feet cinema rooms. So in case these three satellite speaker options works for you and your room size, you can definitely go for it, Kartikya. Second question, please, Atharva. In the question number two, Sumit asks, I have Polk LCR and Denon AVR X1700H. I tried everything, but I failed to hear clear dialogues. So any suggestions? Okay, so Sumit, because I know you, I mean, you know, I'm going to just answer this directly for you. So first of all, yes, the calibration is overdue. So I think you badly need to get the calibration done rightly so that you have this problem sorted once and for all. But yeah, in case you want to play around uh, and try it on your own, which is still okay. I think I'm going to share a link for the center channel uh, settings in the about you know, card. So make sure to watch that video because we have used and given some tips and tricks to enhance the db level or the center channel performance to give clear vocals so try doing that and i am going to wait for your phone call to get the calibration done at your place asap so i hope that answers your question sumit over to atharva for the next question so in question three anuj kumar asks why crossover frequency is important to achieve best output in speaker setup Okay, so there are two ways uh, why you know crossover is important. So first we are going to talk about the speakers. The second we are going to talk about the amplifier or the electronics. Now in speakers, I am going to give a very very quick and a small example. Imagine a room filled with you know hundreds of people of various age group, and you have got a single door to come out. What is going to happen? It's going to be a very very chaotic situation for everybody to just come out. It's going to cause even stampede at you know if things go wrong. And that is why in the same room, if I create three doors with different age group brackets, what is going to happen? The people flow is going to be more efficient. It's going to be more streamlined and it is going to be more clear and definitely less chaotic. So with these three doors being a door for your Twitter, a door for your mid frequency sound and a door for your low frequency sound, which is the woofer, what is going to happen with the speakers as well? you are going to get a more efficient sound, you are going to get more clarity and you will be able to understand each of the frequency lengths properly. So that's the benefit of having crossovers in the loudspeaker because the crossovers job is to take the input signal and distribute it amongst these three doors using the different frequency bandwidth. 
and that's how the crossovers in speaker will ensure that your performance is at par and at the hi-fi standards now coming to the electronics part of it in the electronics too you need to adjust the frequency setup or the frequency crossovers and that is more or less done for the subwoofers because subwoofers is a very very tricky affair and the subwoofers crossover need to be set in a manner that it does not over you know perform with your loudspeaker and the speakers sound is different than the subwoofer sound so all those combinations need to done properly and that's why the crossovers in the electronics is also very very important to achieve the best performance so thanks for all the fantastic questions that we have covered in this week all thanks to kartikeya sumit and anuj and cause sumit and anuj have already known you in the past and you've availed some good offers with us i am going to pick kartikeya for today's video so congratulations kartikeya my team is going to get in touch with you for winning some fantastic offers with us and in case you want to reach out to us and put out your queries then please use the link above as well as the one which is shared in the description so that i tanmay mehta your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya can bring up your questions in the next episode so make sure to stay subscribed to our channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video thank you